A man broke a three-year-long relationship with his girlfriend because she wasn't able to cook him pork chops for dinner. By the way, the age is 25 and 27. A little backstory before reading the text. Around 3 p.m. yesterday, he was gonna buy food and I said I would be making dinner around 6 p.m. And he proceeded to say he would wait and I told him he didn't have to. He can still get something small until I make dinner. These texts happened around 6.30 when I realized the pork chops were no good. So he was gonna come over for dinner but the pork chops were moldy and OP only realized when they were about to get Get cooked. Now let's read the text. Well, we're fucked. Pork chops went bad. My mom was getting ready to fry them and there was mold. He said, okay. She said, I'm sorry. She's just gonna send me to get chicken alone. Cause I've already made mac. He said, okay. No good. She said the pork chops are bad. We didn't know. I'm sorry. I tried to make you food. He just said, okay. She said, sorry. He said, cool. She said, I really tried. He said, okay. You left? She said, yeah. She sent me to get chicken. He said, okay. She said, well, okay. Three hours later, he texted her again. He said, cool. You got to eat. I didn't. For waiting on you. Good night. She said, oh, okay. I love you too. He said, no, bro. Good night. I could have ate, but I waited on you. Of course. She asked you to eat a little before coming over for dinner. Now y'all might be asking... But there's still chicken and mac and cheese. Why didn't he eat those? Well, Opie said Mr. Hangry here doesn't like mac and cheese and fried chicken. Also, Opie said his mom cooked him dinner, but he didn't eat that either. He also had the money to buy food, but he didn't. He sounds like a hormonal teenager to me. No, mom, it's too late. I don't want those fries anymore. I said I wanted them by 6.30 p.m. It's 6.35, so no. I will not be eating and I will be locking myself in my room. She said I tried to cook. I didn't know they were bad. I couldn't have known until they defrosted. He said I don't care, bro. I shouldn't have waited. They made food, but I had to wait on you. Some bullshit. Good night. She said, well, I'm sorry. Good night. I love you too. He said, bro, stop telling me that. You piss me off. She said, I mean, I do, but okay. He said, I don't want to talk to you. She said, okay, good night. I love you. He said, at all. Not tomorrow. I don't care. This is bullshit. Good night. She didn't reply. And then he said, you're fucking selfish. Fuck you for real. I don't want to talk to you or see you. Honestly, I'll remember this. Good night. She said, what the fuck did I do? You said you don't want to talk to me, so I'm leaving you alone. He said, fuck you. Please leave me alone. Get the fuck out. She said, you're the one texting me just to say leave you alone. Like, what the fuck? He said, I don't want to talk or see you at all. She said, I didn't even respond to you. Okay, good night. I love you. What a baby. Opie then said that the next day he broke up with her for being a useless woman who can't do anything right but then later on the same day he texted her again saying he lost his left airpods and if she buys him a new one it'll make things right the audacity of this uh -huh. fortunately op told him he's out of his goddamn mind saying that right after he dumped her apparently they were also saving money to buy a house you know what i see this as an absolute win he dodged a lifetime of headaches he wants to be babied all the time so living with his mom is ideal for him i feel bad for the mom though but i'm happy for op you deserve someone way better.